Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, this is Brant back with another video and uh, wanted to make a video showing the items I picked up uh, in January and February of this year. Um, I used to have every KISS album there was when I was a kid, but I lost everything due to theft whenever I moved several years back. Lost my whole collection and just never had the time to build it again, you know? So, um, not took the time, took the money to do it. So, now that I've gotten older and everything and KISS has really done some really cool things with some reissues and things like that that I've been picking some up. So, um, I've started uh, collecting again and not just collecting albums, I'm collecting anything that I can run into that's KISS related. Um, I really prefer to find stuff in the wild what they call it. Um, when you're just in a record store, just cruising through and you're like, oh, looky here, you know. So um, I'll order it on eBay if I have to, uh, or order it offline or whatever. Some things I already know, some of the 2014 180 gram uh, vinyl pressings are already starting to get really hard to find. So you pretty much are gonna have to get them online. So, um, but, with that said, I'm going to go into what I've found this week, uh, not this week, but uh, in January and February. Um, and I'm also going to talk about the stores I found it at because I believe in supporting local business. And I've got my notes down here. If you see me looking down, I've also got my albums down here in front of me. So um, the first um, store that I went to was a... Uh, one in Morganton called Green Eggs and Jam. And they're a relatively um, new store. It's in Morganton, North Carolina. And I'll put the info, if I've got some pictures, I'll put pictures up and I'll put the address up. Um, but one of the first things I picked up from there was, um, it's an MCA con um, conspiracy album. And the reason why I picked this one up was basically because of this band right here, Chelsea. And that is Peter Chris's band that he was in before he was in KISS. Um, so this was an original, um, it's original 1971 pressing. And um, so I was really surprised just to find this in the racks. Um, this was quite a, this was a nice surprise. Um, the next thing I got at Green Eggs and Jam was I picked up Lick It Up. Um, this is the 19, uh, let's see, 1983 original pressing. Um, I'm not going to go into opening them up, not in this episode. I may do that as I'm reviewing them. Um, I may open them up. Um, but this is the 1983 original pressing. It's in really good shape. I picked this up from Green Eggs and Jam also. And next I also got from Green Eggs and Jam is Animalize. This is the um, 1984 pressing. I uh, picked this up. It's in really good shape too on the inside. Picked this up from there also. I was excited to get that. Um, and Kiss has released these albums in 180 gram in 2014. They released them in 180 gram. I haven't gotten those yet, um, but I will. Um, now this next one, um, there's a store in uh, Gatlinburg. We love going to Gatlinburg. Um, it's one of my favorite places in the world. Gatlinburg, Tennessee, if you've never been there, highly recommend going there sometime. There's a place there called Rhythm Section, right there on the strip, and really super, super guys. Um, and I picked up in January and February, I picked up a lot of stuff from them. Um, it's close enough, it's like three hours from us, so we can drive up on the weekend. I can go do some record shopping, and then we you know, do some other shopping and get a corn dog from Fanny Farkles or whatever, and then we come home. Um, but uh, I picked up, this is the 180 gram uh, repressing from 2014 of Dress to Kill, still sealed. I've not opened any of my, not opened any of my 180 grams. So there's my Dress to Kill I got from Rhythm Section. Uh, also picked up the uh, Destroyer Resurrected. Um, picked this up from there as well. Uh, pretty good prices, paid around that, I paid $25 for this one. Um, so that's when I'm seeing $25 to $30, $35 on some of these, um, but that is the Destroyer Resurrected, um, 20, um, 180 gram, 2014. Uh, here's the Love Gun, 180 gram, got this from Rhythm Section also. 
19, uh, well, this is the 2014. I picked up a original pressing of this too that I'll get to here in a little bit. But um, it's still sealed. From what I understand, it has the gun in it, the love gun, and uh, they were real faithful with these. If they had posters or stickers or, or um, tattoos or whatever, they've put those in there. Um, so got that from there as well. Also picked up from there a uh, monster. Um, and I'm going to review, be reviewing all these albums too. So I'll be reviewing all these albums you see. Um, I may review the Chelsea song on that MCA collection, but I don't know if I'll review the whole album. Um, but I would le at least like to hear it. I've never even heard the song that's on there. So it's a, you know, we'll see. But this is Monster. This is the, um, this is the 2012 release. I believe it's 2012. Yeah, this is the 2012 release of Monster. And back here in the background, if you look here, there is Rock and Roll Over. That is a 180 gram pressing. I've got it kind of in my background here beside my Nothing to Lose book, which is a really good book if you haven't read it. Um, but I've got the uh, Rock and Roll Over there. And right here on my left, I've got the Alive. That is the 180 gram also uh, 2014 reissue. Um, so that's everything for um, Rhythm Section. And in Lenore, there's a store, Lenore, North Carolina, which is about 20 miles away from me. There's a store called Dead Wax. Uh, really nice guy, super store and everything. Got some really gen really good gems there. Um, I picked up, this is an original 1976. This is 1976 first pressing of the originals. Um, it's in okay shape, um, but I, for what I paid for it, I paid $15 for it. Um, it's really good, uh, really good deal. It's an original pressing from 1976. So I was happy just to find this. I've never owned this. This is the first time I've ever owned the originals. I didn't, it wasn't even part of my collection I had um, back when I was younger. So it has, if those of you who don't know, the originals has the first Kiss album, Hotter Than Hell, and Dress to Kill in it. It was kind of like a compilation that came out um, right around the time Alive came out. I'm not exactly sure of the, the timeline. It was either after Dress to Kill and before Alive or after Alive, I'm not sure. If any of you can refresh me in the comments, you can let me know. Um, and also from Dead Wax, which I think is just a cool name for a store. I got this Love Gun. And this is an original pressing Love Gun. Um, but what makes this a little unique is, and um, I talked about it uh, with my friends over at Kiss Collectibles, Kiss My Collectibles. Um, Tom Shannon and those guys, um, Rockologist. Uh, if, if you want to look them up on YouTube, they're phenomenal too. Um, but what's unique about this is it has the gun in it. I don't know how well you can see this, but it has the gun. It has been popped out. This is original um, from 1976, 1976, 77. Um, but it has the original gun. I have some extra bangs in here, which I don't know how I did that, but it came with that because um, from what I understand, the original only had one and I've got three extras here. And I've got the thing where it punched out, but that is what makes this unique. From what I've been told, what makes this in kind of special is anybody that's seen the um, Love Gun original pressings, this at first sight looks like a polygram reissue because it does not have the four members of KISS right here. Um, but the thing that makes this unique is, and I'll take a picture of this and put it up on the, whenever I edit this, this does not say polygram down here. This is an original Casablanca. Um, it's film works. You can see it's film works. It doesn't just have the camels, but this is a Casablanca film works, original pressing. Um, it just doesn't have the um, it doesn't have the the members of Kiss there um, screen printed on there, and so that makes it a little bit more unique. And it's got the awesome inside sleeve, the blood uh, on the marble floor. That's just that's just I, I remember seeing this when I was a kid, and I just thought how badass that was. 
um, that it had blood. You know, Gene spits blood, so this has blood. Um, I always thought that was really cool. Um, so yeah, so that makes this album a little different than just any um, Kiss Love Gun that you see out there. I wanted to kind of pull that out just to get a, a second look at. The next thing I got from Dead Wax is um, The Elder. Um, this is the um, this is the uh, first pressing, the 1981 pressing, the polygram pressing, and it's the one that's got the screwed up track listing with, you know, uh, leading off with the oath and, uh, you know, um, and not, it doesn't match the back um, of this. And um, paid uh, $15 for that, so I guess that's good. Um, but good album there. A little good find there. And so that's everything I got. The other, other things I got from Dead Wax is uh, I got these posters up here. I've got a, and I'll, I'll put a picture of them up. I just haven't got them hung yet. Um, but it's one is Destroyer, one is Love Gun. Um, looking forward to getting those hung up on the wall. Um, oh, and I meant to mention this earlier. Uh, from Green Eggs and Jam. I got this uh, Kiss 8 track, and <laughs> I've not had an 8 track in years, but, uh, and I wasn't looking for 8 tracks when I found it. I wasn't setting out to collect 8 tracks. Um, but if I find an 8 track in the wild, a Kiss 8 track, this is an original um, from 19, uh, 1974, 1975. Uh, this is an original 8, eight track. Um, it's got the track listing on the back. And everything and it looks to be in pretty good shape I don't have an 8 track to play it so I'm gonna have to look around at a second-hand store or Goodwill or something uh, definitely be on the lookout for something to play this with and also I forgot because these are behind me um, I got have from rhythm section in Pigeon Four in Gatlinburg. Uh, I got Kissology, Volume One, and I got uh, Kiss uh, Confidential and Extreme Close Up. So I got these DVDs. Never owned these. Um, I'm looking forward to getting all these, uh, but I just happened to find these and I picked them up. Okay, now we're moving on to winding down here. I've only got two more albums to go. Um, from there's a store in Valdez, North Carolina, which is just a stone's throw from my house, um, called uh, Play It Again, and uh, nice store, good guys. Um, this is the uh, twenty. This is the 2014 180 gram reissue of Dynasty. Um, awesome poster. I remember having this poster on my wall when I was a kid. Um, so. Looking forward to uh, reviewing this album. I'm looking forward to reviewing all the Kiss albums. There are some ones I'm going to tell you right now. There's ones that I do not like. And there's probably albums that I don't like that some of you do. And there's probably some albums I like that some of you don't. Um, but that's what the comments section is for. Use that comment section. Let me know what you think. If you agree, if you disagree. When I do go to do my reviews, I like to know. I like having feedback. I try to reply. I've already had a bunch of comments from my first video, um, and I've already made some friends. You know, um, Ralph Vieira over at uh, the Almost Human uh, 56 uh, YouTube channel. He's a great guy. He's got some really good reviews. Um, and there's just some other people I'm, you know, there's some people I'm working with on some things. I don't want to give it away too much right now. Um, but there's some people. It's YouTube is a cool community, and um, I guess I'm green enough right now to not be jaded towards it yet. Um, but I'm just looking forward to uh, working with some people and partnering with some people um, that are like-minded in doing some of the things I'm doing. So, public announcement over. And the last thing, this, um, this album came, this is Asylum. This is, the, uh, this is original pressing from uh, 1985. And I remember buying this album. I was 16? No. Yeah, I was 16. 
Um, I was 16 when this came out, and I remember buying this album. I remember going to this concert. I won press passes to this concert uh, at the Charlotte Coliseum, the old Charlotte Coliseum on Independence. And I won, won, won uh, press passes, and I got to be right down front in between the barrier and the stage. Uh, and and uh, they let me take my camera in, and it was just awesome. Uh, it was a really good show. Um, and so this album, I, re I remember buying this album. Some of the earlier albums, I think my mom bought a bought for me, or I might, might not have remembered buying them. Because um, the first Kiss album I ever owned was uh, Alive 2. Um, and uh, well, I got I got Alive 2 and Destroyer at the same time. Alive 2 had just come out. Destroyer had been out for a while. But um, so and then every album on from from you know Double Platinum and the four solo albums and then Dynasty and and Unmasked and everything. I remember buying those from then on. But I'm rambling. But anyway, um, got this from Harvest Records in Asheville. Harvest Records. Um, nice store, uh, really good people. Like I said, I've, I, I go in and everywhere I go in, I let them know that I'm doing a YouTube channel and that, you know, I want to, you know, feature their place and everything. So, uh, yeah, so, and, um, um, that's it. That's all I've got for today. Uh, I am working on a, um, video for, uh, Hotter Than Hell. That's the next review I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try to put my reviews up on Tuesdays. Um, that's the, where I want to try to do it, kind of, kind of work on it on the weekend and then, um, and then upload it on Tuesday and everything. And I'm going to try to do one a week because um, with Kiss having over 30 albums and me reviewing every one of them and, and re reviewing it as thorough as I did the first one and doing as good a quality a job as I did the first one, um, I want to be able to take my time to do it, but I, but I don't want to take, you know, doing one a week is going to take me 30 weeks to do it. So um, I want to do put up at least one video a week uh, of reviews. I'm going to do be putting up other other types of reviews too, videos like this re, uh, where I talk about stuff that I've picked up and just general things. If something happens in the KISS community or any other type of community, you know, uh, music community or video game community, I may throw up a little short video talking about it. Um, and I'm also, I was talking with uh, another YouTuber uh, channel today, and uh, I want to, um, and we'll be re reviewing the Typo Negative um, uh, albums. I'm really looking forward to uh, reviewing those and doing some partnering up maybe. And so um, that's just some exciting stuff that's to come and everything. So. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video saying that, you know, I, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe. If you've made it this far, you know, thank you for, for watching all the way through, listening to me ramble on. And um, But subscribe, share, tell people about it. Um, leave comments, like the video, go back and watch my other videos. If this is the first video you're seeing and I've been doing this for a while, uh, you know, this is four years down the road from now, then me filming this in uh, the very end of... Uh, February of 2018 if you see this three years from now funny story and then I'll close but um, whenever I stumbled across uh, Ralph Vieira's uh, Almost Human channel uh, doing reviews I remember one of the very first ones that I uh, commented on I commented on it and nobody had commented on it in over three years and I commented on something about the video and he re replied back dude I don't even remember making that video because it had been like, seriously, like four or five years since he had made it. So, um, and you know, his channel is just doing good. He's, he's got over uh, like 6,000 subscribers. He posted a video the other day and in the first, 30, first 24 hours, he had over 1,300 views. And, you know, and I told him, I said, uh, you know, uh, you're an inspiration to me and, you know, you're what I want to try to be like and everything. And it humbled him, he said. so. Um, so yeah, so you know, uh, if you've seen this video for the first time, and I've got other videos, check them out. Feel free to check them out, subscribe, and everything. And I'm done. And so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.